Okay. So, for those of you who don't know, the UK is in a transitional period with regards to the regulation changes implemented a few years ago. We have the new regulation system with the open category with varying different sizes and weights of aircraft, mostly around weights, and you have all aircraft that don't comply with this, which was called the transitional class. And what was brought in was a period of transition where if you own these older aircraft, they would give you some additional benefits up until a fixed date. And if you wanted to continue those benefits, you would have to basically upgrade to one of the new C-rated aircraft that fell under this new classification thing in the open category. However, there has been a large number of delays. There has been a large number of problems with this whole move into the C-rated system. And we still today don't have any aircraft that comply with this. As a result of that, the UK CAA have put out a consultation on extending this transitional period. And it is really important that if you are a drone owner or user in the UK, you take the time to go out and fill this in. If I hop over to the desktop, you can see, and I will put a link to this in the description of the video. This is where you have the opportunity to click the online survey and give your thoughts on the consultation. As I've already said, it's really important we do this. Everyone needs to have their say because the reality is it's almost impossible to fully comply with these new rules because there are no aircraft available today that do comply with the C-rated system out the door. The survey is very simple and straightforward. It asks for your name and email address, and in it, it will ask you how long you think they should extend this consultation period or this transitional period, I should say, for. I put it down personally as indefinitely. I personally don't feel there is a need to end the transitional period at all. There will be a natural end to transitional aircraft as they age anyway, and we are years off C-rated aircraft becoming the norm. Even if the Mini 3 launches with a C-rating, we are not going to see that any real mass adoption of that for some time yet. So please do take the time to do this survey. It's very, very important. There is a link to it in the description of this video. And by doing that, you are helping every other drone owner in the UK ensure that they continue to use the aircraft that they own today. Because just because the rules have changed doesn't mean you need to run out and buy a new aircraft. Why should users of good Mavic 2s, Mavic 1s, Phantoms, all of those style aircrafts that sort of fall into some of these categories have to suddenly upgrade to continue to use these legacy options that they gave us in some ways. Can call it legacy because it was added. You gained benefits with the new rule system. But there's no reason to take them away because we've proved it's completely safe. Because in this period of these new regulations being allowed, there's basically been no incidents that we're aware of that would bring continuing that as an issue forward. So we really do need to make sure we push this. So again, please take the time. Fill it in. There is no reason the CAA need to push this forward. We have proven it's safe and they continue, they can continue to allow us to do this.